Hi guys, Robertson Demotaro here. So today's video is about Infinix laptop. I'm super excited for this video because Infinix sent me something big. And this is first time Infinix are making laptop. We all know Infinix as a company that makes budget friendly smartphones and some phones accessories also. But this time around, we are having the Infinix Inbook X1. And I have one here. It comes in three variants which are the Core i3, Core i5, Core i7. So the mid spec, which is the Core i5, is the one that I have right here, right now. This is a review you need, so I'll be telling you everything you need to know about it. And everything I say in this review are my thoughts and my experience so far with this laptop. It's not that I'm being paid to say anything here, just what I experienced so far with this laptop. So without wasting much of your time, let's get down to business. Now to the price. When you have a lot of manufacturer making same commodity, there's going to be a competitive price and Infinix is just doing that. Here this laptop goes for 665 US dollars here in Nigeria which is equivalent to about 335,000 Naira. That is a bit competitive if you have to compare it to other ones that have same spec. And one thing about it is that it is very good so far that I've used it but Let's go to the unboxing right now so that you can know what you're going to be getting from the package if you're getting one right away. Opening the box, you're welcomed by the laptop itself which is well wrapped up. So let's come back to that. Next comes the warranty paper and the user manual. These two are needed so you can just go through them when you're ready. So the next thing is the charging brick which is the 65 wax charger that you can use to charge up this device and also it comes with the type c to c cable that you are going to use with this very brick so these are how you are going to use it just bring it out and plug it by the side here yeah so you can use it to charge your phone also and anything that uses um type c cable so that's pretty much it in the box and let's go back to the laptop to the design, it has a dual tone finishing at the back that looks beautiful. There are so many colors to choose from. It is made from premium aluminum material that will last you for long. So touching it, it feels like a metal but it's lightweight and it weighs about 1.5 kg on scale which will not hurt your backpack or hand. So to the screen department, it has a 14 inches full HD IPS display, a sharp and high resolution media. When it is folded up, it is just 1.6 cm thick. So powering this laptop to life is the Intel 10th generation Ice Lake processor coupled with 8GB of RAM and 512GB of SSD storage. So multitasking on this laptop will be a breeze. Still on the design, this laptop can flex up to 180 degrees without stress but you don't want to go beyond that, right? <laughs> By the side of this laptop, you find a lot of port image connections seamless for you. So from the left hand side of this laptop, you are going to find the DC charging port in case you don't want to charge with the USB Type-C cable. The next is the HDMI port 2.0 and the next is the USB Type-C port. One of it is for charging and the last switch is for the camera. So your privacy is secure. And to the right hand side of this Infinix system, you are going to find the Kessington lock which is also known as the K-Port, a USB 2.0, a USB 3.0 and the 3.5 audio jack port for headphones and lastly the micro SD slot. It has a nicely designed power button at the right hand of the keyboard and it has 4 speaker grid O. Two are right above the keyboard just below the monitor and two at the back of the laptop. The keyboard looks sturdy and clicky but it's not that noisy. So this is just a good one. If you are typing on it, it is just a walk in the park. Very, very responsive. This keyboard is also backlight so you can set the brightness to your choice with the FN key and spacebar. And this is very good if you have no light in your environment when you want to do something. The mousepad is not bad at all, in fact it's very responsive that you can move your cursor here and there and it supports shortcuts on Windows too. So flipping over this laptop, 
you are going to see the vent underneath and also the vent at the back and the vent of this laptop helps it to cool down as you do your own works so when it comes to the sound it is pretty decent and the movies and music that i listen to i can hear them well it, it sounds nice you know So the webcam is positioned at the top of the screen and it is at 720p which is still good for zoom meeting and video calls and stuff like that. This Infinix X1 laptop runs on Windows 10 and if you want to upgrade you can still install the test Windows 11 version so it's very compatible. This laptop battery life is incredible but it only depends on what you do with it you know. Being said it has a 65 hours charger that can easily boost it from 0 to 70% in less than 1 hour so you can get it juiced up within a short period of time. Concerning this Infinix X1 laptop I will be recommending it to you if you are a student whether you are in college or university it's very good for you. A businessman or woman you can grab on right away and if you are a graphic designer that will really do some editing and stuff like that it will really work for you but if you are a video editor that does video editing on a larger scale then you should go for the pro version because it has a dedicated graphics card so with that being said that brings us to the end of this infinix inbook x1 laptop review i remember about tundra motario and if you have any question please drop it down there and i will answer you as soon as possible Please remember to give us a like if you find this video helpful and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. See you on the next one. Please stay safe. Bye for now. Peace.